hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing very well my name is janelle and today i have for you another so i'm back with the shop my stash weekly makeup basket um <laughs> i don't know what to say you guys uh let's just go over everything that we used last week what i thought of it and then we'll be picking some different items to use this week so let's just hop right in so i'll just start digging out of the bag pat mcgrath is in a project pan this one i used once or twice it was a nice lovely blush by mac it's the so natural um cream like it's like cream to powder formula um this one i don't remember if i used it if i did it was like one time so i want to get more use on that one we have a highlighter that's in my project pan by becca champagne pop this is in my project pan um project pan bronzer this uh is like my everyday powder by charlotte tilbury this dior one of course we love her so this one can go back since we did get a lot of use out of this dior it's the uh 004 coral and this one this one i learned that i loved a lot so um, it's funny how I didn't like these colors in the winter, but now that we're approaching spring, these look lovely on me. Um, all the different colors by M Cosmetics, so I'm glad I didn't have to declutter any of those. We can put that blush back by M Cosmetics. We have the Dior Powder No Powder. I think I'll leave this in, but I might pull for some other powders. Uh, we'll just see. And then this Soft Peach Blush by Cover Effects I didn't use. So I'll leave that one in. I was just loving the Dior and the M Cosmetics ones um, a lot. Here's the other M Cosmetic blush. This one's in the shade Pearl Tea, which is like this bronzy shade. So, I mean, I might use this up as a bronzer eventually because, I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't have enough rosiness in it to be a blush on me. It just looks a little bronzy, but we'll put that one back. Um, Where? Okay. Here is the eyeshadow palette, Baby Got Peach. This one, um, one of the shades actually fell out. I think it was somewhere over here. It shattered, um, and then all these fell out. I had to rearrange them. My son helped me pick them up, and we just plopped them in any space. So sorry if it looks funny, but got a lot of great peachy looks out of that one. We can put that back. I have another Dior gloss and a Chanel gloss on my purse. That were from previous project, not project pants, shop my stashes. So I'll have to go ahead and put those in my makeup bag the next time I film a shop my stash, if I can remember. But I've just been pulling for those a lot. But this one, when it was in the makeup bag, I did pull the furthest gloss a lot. It's in the shade 640 Jador. Um, I don't think the camera will focus on it, but that one was used. Project pan, this one. I'm getting to um, know this Dior concealer more. And it's dandy. We can put that one back. Um, I did use the yellow liner one time. And if I can find the other one, I will... Um, oh, yeah, the green one. I use the green one a lot. I think peaches go great with this green color. It really ties into the peachy moment. You got your, your green um, from, like, the leaf. You got browns and oranges from the fruit and stem and stuff like that. It went lovely, so I'm going to definitely have to pull for that green liner again with some other different looks. This is a Project Pan blush that can stay. This eyeliner, this uh, eyeshadow, I use quite a bit. I topped this over tons of mattes from the Baby Got Peach palette. I might leave that one in because it comes in handy. Um, or should I put it back? I think we'll put it back just so I can show the uh, Urban K one. Some love. These are Project Pan stuff. Um, just like setting spray primer. We pull for this one. I use this one quite a bit. And it's like a matte brownish nude color. Uh, it kind of, um, this blush kind of over overpowered some looks. But um, I do think it's a lovely blush. And for certain looks, I do like it. But just um, piling this with, just piling this one and all the other like peachy blushes together just was a little much. So um, I think I will only layer one or two from now on instead of putting like four or five different blushes on it at the same time. Uh, maybe I still might do that. I don't know. Um, we have some more Project Pan stuff. This highlighter is just like my everyday highlighter as of lately. So 
that Westminster Atelier one can stay. We have Project Crayon um, lip stuff, but we also have some stuff that we pulled for last time. I did use um, both of these lipsticks, the nude shade more than the berry, but I did use a berry. Well, it's not berry. It's like a rose tone, like twice. I will pop in eyeshadow looks right here just because I forgot. And now let's talk about some new stuff that I'm going to go ahead and pull in this rotation. And I will also show you um, uh, what else. Then we'll go into like primer foundation, all that stuff. Um, I am going to leave in this foundation. It's in a project pan, but I think we'll still pull for some other ones, even if we just use them like once, just so I can get used on all of my collection. Okay, for um, new stuff, I have three new goodies here. I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap this um, and go ahead and show you. This is the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush and 101 Love Cake. So hopefully this is a good color match. Not color match, but like a good shade that I'll actually like. Because I haven't actually opened it to see what it looks like. And I accidentally ordered two of the um, contour shades. So I'm just going to have a backup. Hopefully I'll fly through it if I love it. So this is the um, what the blush looks like. Okay, it feels a little bit more heavy and like more significant than what I thought it would. Like I thought it was going to feel super chibi. Hopefully the color is pretty. I didn't know which color to get. And that looks like a beautiful pink. So hopefully I love this. And it comes with a lot of product. Do you see all that product that's in there? Um, does it say how many? It says 5.2 milliliters or 0.17 fluid ounces. So I'll have to compare it with some of my other cream and liquid blushes. Yeah, this one has 0.16 ounces, but this is a compact. So... I'll have to compare it to like stick um, or liquid blushes to see. But that seems like a great amount. So we're going to um, take that blush for the week. And then we also have the She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer in the shade Soft Tan, which I'm assuming is going to be like a contour shade. So hopefully this shade is going to work for me because I accidentally bought doubles. <laughs> so that's what the packaging looks like. And let me open up the freaking box here. Okay, I'm just tearing the box open because it is so affordable. I'm not going to return these. It's difficult, like, returning stuff overseas and whatnot. So, just tossing it. Here's what the packaging looks like. It does kind of look kind of gray in the tube. So, I'm thinking this is going to be a great contour shade. That's what this looks like. So, let's just give it a swatch next to this one. Oh, yeah. I think... That's going to look beautiful. Hopefully when it's blended out, it looks good. So that'll be our contour for the week. Um, let me go ahead and bring over our primer foundation concealer drawer. I'm sorry, I meant primer, concealer, and setting spray drawer. Uh, we're good on primers. Um, for concealer, I think we're going to bounce back to the Armani one. And see how that goes. This is the Power Fabric in the shade 3. So we'll give that one a shot for this week. For foundation, I do have like three Project Pan foundations going. So I think I'm only going to pull for the Georgie Armani Neo Nude foundation. I do have color correctors to make this work because this shade's a little too orange peachy on me. So we'll take that one for the week. I did go ahead and pull out um, three Natasha Denona palettes because I'm crazy. Um, so I did pick out the, um, neutral N Natasha Denona Biba palette. This one was an arm and a leg and I haven't used it in quite a few months to be honest. And then the Tropic palette is quite older in my collection. It's probably as old as my YouTube channel, which is about like three years or so. Um, so yeah, but I picked the, the, uh, Tropic palette because most of my Biba's in here. I popped a lot of the neutral shades in here. Just because Tropic already had a lot of neutral shades and I didn't quite like the quality of the colorful um, shadows that were at the bottom row. Except Mint Frost which I love a lot but I have Pan in that one. And I only have Pan in this shade out of the neutrals. Um, so I thought I would match these up to create my like, you know. Hold on, is that better? My most perfect like neutral shadow. Um, whatever. So 
Sorry if I uh, seem a little off. I feel like I'm getting sick, so I might not even use this makeup because I don't like to use makeup when I'm sick because then I contaminate everything and it's just hard to disinfect everything. So yeah, we'll just have to see how I'm feeling. But um, here is this one, which Mint Frost is in the Tropic palette, but it's just good to have it in this little palette. You got a darker blue to go with it. And this one was in the Tropic palette, but I think I put it in a Z palette somewhere. These two, I don't think these two are in the Tropic palette. Um, oh yeah, Vintage Taupe is. Um, Intense, I don't think is. Let me just double check for you. Yeah, Vintage Taupe is the only one that's in there. So really I'm pulling this, <laughs> this palette for these two shades. Um, and this one because Lemoncello... Limoncello is somewhere lost in my collection. So yeah, I thought this would be beautiful for spring and um, this will just be a good neutral palette. So we'll do a few swatches and pop those in in a little bit. Forgot to show you the gloss. Um, I guess I'll show it to you, like swatch it whenever it's time to swatch the lip products. But this is the gloss shot by Kaja. It's a hydrating lip shine. And I got mine in the shade Azul. 02 milk tea so hopefully this will go with all of our neutral looks oh this looks so pretty it's like a nude color with sparkles so beautiful hopefully the camera is picking up on the dimension and this gloss so pretty as cute as it is good oh isn't that adorable and then it says kaja so yeah, I'll swatch that for you in a little while. That'll be our lip gloss. So I brought over this little lipstick um, organizer. I think I want to pull out this Gucci one um, to use as a corrector. If because um, I know you can use like orangey colors under your under eye. It's a very coral shade that doesn't really look that good on my lips. I have to always um, tone it down with a more nude color. So I will try to wear it as a lip color. But if I don't get around to doing that, at least I will wear it under my eye and see how that goes. This is in the shade they met in Argentina. It's a matte. So here's what this one looks like. I will swatch it when we get to putting the lips up in our bag. Um, and then I have to uh, pair it with this nude just because it's a little too orange for my lips. Um, and this nude definitely tones it down. It's in the shade Linda Beige and this is a satin formula. And this is what this one looks like. Beautiful, light, pale nude. Um, I'll throw in this one, which is like um, the Voile formula. This is Goldie Red. Love the packaging. Um, this is the third lipstick by Gucci that I'm pulling in. And it's just this, uh, this very sheer red formula. Um, but I don't know. Just for like those days where I don't want to wear too much on my face. Maybe just throw a little mascara, shimmer on the eye, and some of this lipstick. So yeah, we'll try that out. Might even wear it as a cream blush if I'm feeling risky. Um, and so, let's see. We have possibly one if I use it on my lips. Two if I feel like wearing something like natural. Let's pull in these two, which are more sheer, glossy type formula. Um, this is a satin... This is the Selena Viva Cream Sheen Lipstick by MAC, limited edition. This one's getting older in age and I wanna use it before it expires. There's that much left, the roses getting close to being used. Um, I will swatch it here in a little while. So yeah, I would like to use that and not let it go bad. Next we have this L'Oreal Lipstick in Glossy Fawn. It's number 900, I will also swatch that. When it comes time to putting things up. I think that's it. Um, I have like two other trays over there. I have like two other acrylic um, units with lipsticks in it. But we're just only going to pull from here this time. Just because I want to focus in on a few lippies. So I forgot to mention our lip blenders that we wore last time. This is Divine Rose. It actually did go well with that Chanel lipstick. That one can go back into our collection. And then we have... This Chanel lip liner, I forget the name. It's in 162, I think it's called Nude Brun. This one's amazing, I love it. It's staying, 
Um, hopefully I can use my project pen, that one, and I want to pull one more lip liner. So for that one, I think I want to give love to this Huda Beauty. Let's do the Lip Contour 2.0. It's a pretty brown shade, so I'm going to set that aside to swatch for you. Here's my bronzer drawer. I think I want to see about this Too Faced one. I forgot who I heard saying that they have been loving the shimmery bronzer. So I'm going to pull this one in by Too Faced. It's in the shade Sweet Tea. I haven't shown it that much love um, in the amount of time that I've owned it. So I will give you a swatch of that one. We won't pull for any cream bronzer just because I have a cream bronzer and a project pan. And we also have the cream contour, so... We're set on this drawer. Here's my cream drawer. I know I have one cream blush already in there. I have tons that are in product pans. But I do want to pull out, um, I think there are these two. I'm going to pull out these two from Nude Sticks. I'll pull out these two from Nude Sticks to see if I can get any kind of use on them. I think I pulled them more recently, uh, a few weeks ago or so, in the beginning of the year. But I'll give them some more love. And the Nude and Bareback, we will swatch those when it comes time but yeah that's all we're pulling since we have project pan and then the Shein blush for powder blush i think i want to pull out some mac ones that i really don't ever use um let's see if i can pull it out oh lord these don't want me to use them they're jam packed okay so we have peaches by mac we'll use that one i actually prefer melba i think over this one but I really just have to get my full thoughts on it. Um, there's Peachy Kin, I think. I think I'm too fair for Peachy Kin. So we'll just wait till summer to try that one out again. And then there's this one, Blush Baby. I think this will be a good one to see my solid opinion on it. Um, I don't know if I'm 100% 100 convinced that I absolutely need this in my collection. So we'll give that a whirl. If I don't love either one of those, or at least like them, then maybe I'll declutter them in the future. Um, I'm going to go into another powder blush drawer. We'll probably pull maybe one more, and then we will um, start swatching. Okay, I do want to pull for more of a glowy blush. Um, I think I'm going to go for this other Too Faced one. It's the uh, Sweetheart Ooh, Perfect Blush in Peach Beach. I also haven't shown this one enough love. And from what I remember, it was like super shimmery. So I have to go in with a light hand. I'm going to try this with the stippling brush. I'm going to try this with the stippling brush. And see how that goes over the top of those MAC ones. Because I know the MAC ones are super matte. And that's probably why I don't love those. I love more of a like shimmery or like luminous um, powder blush. And then cream blushes, you know, dewy all the way. I forgot our powder um little section here let's do the Too faced um born this way ethereal setting powder or it's just a setting powder i have mine in translucent so let's see how that sets the under eye and i've also been wanting a super bright under eye so i'm gonna pull out this bare minerals concealer and well rust it so I think we have tons of goodies here. I never pull for powder highlights these days. So I think we will go with, I guess, ozone. Um, No, maybe. Let's see if I'm tan enough to wear this one. This is the DR Forever in Nude Glow. If it's too dark, maybe I'll reach in for ozone. But let's try this one. Okay, so we have tons of goodies here. So let's go ahead and get to swatching. I guess we will start with powder blushes. I just brought some wipes here, um, just in case I need to wipe my fingers off. Um, so yeah, let's start off with this one and peaches. So, like I said, I like Melba. It's more of a like uh, fluorescent, lighter peach. Like it has more yellow or something into it. This one is definitely like a peach peach, like more orange into it. So maybe that's why I don't like it. Um, this is looking like the Dior one a lot, so corally, we'll pop that in. Next, we have this other one in Blush Baby. It's a sheer tone blush. Um, okay, more of a like mauvey pink. Okay, has a little purpleness into it. Hopefully that will go good with some of our neutral looks. 
let's hop into cream blush really quick i just love talking about blush that's why i started with blush i don't know it just makes me feel some type of way it's a little more cool tone maybe the uh, mac one will go good on top of it what do you think or this one Next we have in the nude, which is gonna be a little bit more warm tone. So maybe this one will go good. With this popped over the top? I don't know, maybe it's a little too dark. But I can share it out. Let's swatch our highlighter really quickly. I never <laughs> touched the top, I don't know why I did that. Hopefully I'm not too tan. I mean, um, too light for this. I think I definitely need a tan to pull that off because it's like dark around my skin. So yeah, we will try that one out. If not, I'll just pull for ozone. These powders don't need to be swatched, so I'll pop those in. I forgot this Too Faced blush, so let me see if I can swatch this one. Um, and I'll just kind of grab my finger and swirl it everywhere. Sorry if you couldn't see it. So yeah, that... It looks very translucent on my face, but I swear to God, it was like uber pigmented the last time. Maybe I just piled it on too much. I'm going to go in a light with a light hand and maybe it'll look good topped over this one. Maybe even this cream blush, which is bareback. So I'll try it in a magnitude of ways. I still have other cream blushes in here that we didn't shop our stash for. That's in Project Pan. Here is our bronzer and the shade Sweet Tea. Also by Too Faced, I'll just go back and forth, get both colors. Very, uh, it's kind of neutral, but it has like a little bit of yellow warmth in it, but it's not super orange or anything. So hopefully that one will have it lighten up our face a little bit. It's not too matte, not super shimmery either. So I think that'll be great. I guess let's start with lipsticks. We'll start with the L'Oreal one. I think this is going to probably be one of the lightest um, shades. No, I think it's going to be more of an in-between shade for us. So, yeah. I remember that being super new. Maybe in the summer when I'm tan, it looks super new on me. But that's not looking as new as I remember it. Okay, the Selena one's going to be probably the most nude. So... Here we go. This one definitely has more pink. The other one has more of a like peachy brown to it. So it's on the lines of this mauve shade or this mauve shade. Maybe closer to this one. So I'll probably pair that lipstick with that blush that day. Actually, this is the light shade. I totally forgot about this Gucci lipstick. And Linda Beige, we pulled for it. It's very concealer lips. I don't know if the camera's gonna definitely get the right tone or if it's gonna be off, but this is the lipstick that I wanna use on my under eye. They met in Argentina by Gucci. So hopefully that has enough orange in it. It's coming off like pinkish red, so I don't know. We'll see if that works or not. Maybe I can even use this one on my under eye. It's <clears throat> Maybe I'll try this one under my eye, Goldie Red by Gucci and the Voile formula. A little more sheer, so I don't know if it'll cover my dark circles, but we will try it. For lip liner, hopefully this shade or for these three at least. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 and Honey Beige. So I will swatch this one right here. Yeah, that's going to match at least this nude and this nude. That looks beautiful. Can't wait to wear that lip liner shade. 
it's gorgeous and then this gloss shade i'm definitely excited about hopefully i can wear it on the lighter nudes um it's in the shade zero two milk tea fresh gloss look at the applicator never seen anything like that it's a little unique has a little bit of a curvitude but long and skinny looks very plush Ooh, and this is the most pretty baby pink color ever super sheer got shine and sparkle oh this is one i'm gonna want to slather put it in my purse keep it in my pocket keep reapplying mm. that looks good i'm glad i picked this one up i've heard good things from jamie page and other youtubers so hopefully it won't disappoint me um all that's left is eyeshadow so i think i'm going to swatch um i guess oh i don't want to do too many let's do maybe these four which is excessive but i love eyeshadow uh let me do it on the back of my hand just because i'm running out of space here and I forgot to mention that this is the Jubilee palette. I swatched everything but Mint Frost just because it's in the other palette. This shade's in the other palette, and Lemon Cello is also in the other palette. These two shades are not, so. That looks like a great color story for spring. Get a little color action going on. I don't think the eyeshadow palettes are going to fit just because I reached for a lot of stuff this week. But I'll just go ahead and quickly show you this little baby. It is Tropic mixed in with Biba. So, um, let's see. I usually use Vintage Topo Wall, which is in the other palette. I use Fake Tan and Cocoa. Um, and then from Biba, I like the black shade. And I thought these browns would just be nice to have in there. The shimmers are okay, not my favorite. So, I probably won't swatch those. Um, I'll probably use the Urban Decay one if I need a shimmer. So awkwardly here are those swatches next up i have this palette which is um the rest of biba um i do like this yellowy shade um i use this for cut creases but it's a little dark but i've dabbled in everything but mm, nothing really calls out to me um so yeah let me just and coco is uh also in this shade so i'll swatch prairie buff um let's see if we can get into some of these grays and that's a nice shimmer so maybe i will swatch the other light shimmers i swatched this on the wrong hand dude i am horrible if only shot my stashes aren't i so yeah more neutrals um i'm just rubbing this off because i know i'm gonna get it all over my white t-shirt Okay, let's go back into Tropic and swatch these two shimmers, which are in the Biba palette. I don't remember the names because I took them out. <laughs> um, we'll do this one and this one. So we've got a lighter pink and a more other shade. They just really don't adhere to my eyeballs. Um, so let me know if you have that problem or if they just sold me a dud. Because I did get this on sale. Um... Off the Natasha Deneau website like a year or two ago. Um, was it Black Friday? I don't remember if it was Black Friday or not. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes when they're trying to get rid of older inventory, it's not going to be the fresh new quality if you were to get one that was manufactured like more most recently. So I digress. These are the eyeshadows that I picked. I already wiped them off. Lots of beautiful lip options, beautiful cheek options. Just trying to get to know my collection a little bit better. Show everything love. If I don't love, love everything, you know, maybe I'll declutter it later on. And get um, used on new stuff as well as old stuff. Like this Gucci lipstick. Well, it's not that old, but, you know, it was expensive and I want to get used on those. This was a classic. Um, and I don't remember it being that dark. So that tells you I haven't been reaching for it, but we have a good mixture of old and new. And yeah, that'll conclude today's Shop My Stash. I hope you guys love the color story we got going on. Neutrals, bold and simple lips, you know, warm and cool tone for the 
blushes we got an actual contour color so hopefully i'll look snatched and yeah um go ahead and comment what you're using what you're using this week down below let me know what items you were excited to see me pull if you were at all and yeah i will see you all in my next video take care bye